invite everybody over. So we invited Lamadine, we invited Toast, and me and the llamas, we're in charge of making the dessert. Like, what is Thanksgiving without a pie, right? Pulse might be the right button. We actually built these benches specifically just for this Friendsgiving. I wonder when the guests will start arriving. really exciting day because me and the llamas, we love Thanksgiving. And let me tell you guys, we have a huge event coming up right now, okay? So the other day, little llama bean came up to me and she said, llama mama, can we please have a Friendsgiving? And I was like, llama bean, what's a Friendsgiving? And apparently, it's when you invite all your friends over and you have a huge Thanksgiving, except with your friends. I was like, oh! Lama Bean, that's a really good idea because we can invite everybody over. So we invited Lama Dean, we invited Toast, Shy Bean, and Lil Pen. And they should be coming over here in about two and a half hours, which we're really excited. So that means we have to set up the party right now. Everybody's bringing over their own dish. And me and the llamas, we're in charge of making the dessert. Like, what is Thanksgiving without a pie, right? So Lama Bean and Fluff Bean, they were like, let's make a pie. And I was like, uh, Fluff, we've never made a pie before in our little llama lives. And Fluff Bean was like, let's just do it. Let's just Google a recipe and make a pie. So that's what we're doing right now. We're about to make an Oreo pie. So as you can see, we have all the ingredients set out right here. We just set it up. We got our bowls. We got our measuring cups. We have Cool Whip. We have some cream cheese, some powdered sugars, of course, some butter. Everything with butter tastes a lot better. And over here, oh my goodness, Fluff Bean, are you literally eating the ingredients right now? Fluff Bean, don't eat all the Oreos. Oh my gosh, look at Fluff Bean's face. She's been devouring the Oreos. Fluff, we have to save it for the pie. We're making this extremely delicious Oreo pie and it's gonna taste really good. At least the photo online looks really good. So Fluff, you can eat the leftover Oreos, okay? We need this for the pie because we have to feed it to everybody at the party. Okay, over here we have the pie pan and we have our mixer. So this should be pretty simple because I was looking at it and it says like we don't have to bake anything. So all we have to do is just mix all of this stuff together and it should become a great Oreo pie. So we're gonna get to making that right now. So I got ready lava bean. <laughs> lava bean is so ready. I got ready fluff. Fluff. Let's do this thing. Let's get to baking. All right. Fluff Bean, I want you to be in charge of the reading, okay? Right here, Fluff Bean, I have the ingredients, okay? I screenshotted all of the instructions, okay? So what I need you to do is just tell me what we need to do first. All right, Fluff? So tell us. Fluff, read it and tell us. What, is, what does it say, Fluff? Uh-huh. Oh, so Fluff Bean just said we need to count out 25 Oreos and we have to mix it with butter. Now, how much butter do we need? Five tablespoons. Perfect. Okay, so we have our butter right here. We're gonna get this. I hope that this is microwave safe. I know if you put metal in the microwave, it will literally blow up. I've never done that before, but like, I guess you can't put metal in the mi microwave because it will literally blow up and you'll have a whole campfire in your microwave. So we gotta be safe because mama raised a safe bean. So over here, little llama bean, come over here. Will you please measure out five tablespoons of butters, okay? Be very gently, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. So if you just cut it right here, hold on, Lama, let me open this up for you, okay? Guys, this is so much fun. Like, I love baking, especially the llamas. Do you guys like baking? Leave a comment down below. Let us know what is your favorite thing to bake. Or if you don't like to bake, what is your favorite dessert to eat? Okay, right here. All right, llama, let's try this again, okay? Guys, if you have your little llama do this, make sure you're sitting right next to your little llama so that they're safe. Okay, here we go. Five tablespoons. Wow, good llama! Ooh, this butter is very thick, and llama bean is super strong. Llama bean, did you go to the gym today? Wow, llama. Llama bean said that she went to the gym 27 times today. Llama, that's a lot. Oh my gosh, you must be sweating, Lama. I thought I smelled something really smelly. Okay, good Lama, that's perfect you went to the gym because we're gonna be eating a lot of food at this Thanksgiving. All right, let's put this butter into the bowl right here because we have to melt it in the microwave. It has to be hot melted butter. So we're gonna melt this right now. Why don't we go over to the microwave? Little Fluff, will you put it in the microwave for us? Come on, let's go. Okay, Fluff Bean, here we go. 
Do you know how to use the microwave, Fluff? Oh yeah, that's right. Fluff Pink says she uses the microwave at least 32 times a day. Oh, Fluff, that is so typical of Fluff. She's always eating food. All right, let's set this in the microwave and let the butter melt. Gently close it, Fluff. Be very gentle. Oh, easy, Fluff. She must be super excited for Thanksgiving. All right, let's put it about mm, one minute. Let's see how that does it. One, zero. Come on, Fluff, press it. Zero. Okay, start. Oh. Fluff, did you go to the gym this morning? Oh, Fluff said she's never been to the gym. That's okay, Fluff. We can always do other things, you know? We can always do other things to get some exercise. Now, while that is melting, we're gonna come over here and we're, we gotta count 25 Oreos, okay? All right, Lama Bean, are you really good at counting? She said yes, perfect. We're gonna cut, we're gonna count out 25 delicious Oreos, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. What's that, Fluff? Oh, you want a challenge? You wanna see how high we can stack the Oreos? That's a really good idea. Let's make this more fun and let's stack up the Oreos and see how many Oreos we can stack up until it falls over. That would be really exciting. That is how to make baking extremely fun. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Six, seven. Lama, I really want you to pay attention, okay? To make sure I'm counting right, all right? Because sometimes I can mess up with counting. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, woo, 12, Oh, it's shaking, guys. 13. <gasps> I feel like I'm playing a game. What's that game called? Is it Jenga? Oh, yeah, we played that, Lamas. We played the mini Jenga before. Okay, okay, that was 13. Okay, thanks, Lama. 13, 14, 15. <gasps> okay, okay, here we go. 16. 17, no! Okay, okay, it's okay. 17 Oreos we stacked. Okay, that's all right. That was fun. Let's just count the rest. 17, 18, 23, 24, and 25. So what we need to do with these Oreos, Lama, is that we need to, oh, Fluff, <laughs> no, Fluff, don't eat it yet. What we need to do with these Oreos is we need to put them into this blender. Is that a food processor? But like, I guess a blender would be the same. So we're just gonna blend all of these Oreos up and make them super crumbly so that we make the crust. So we're gonna put in about as many as we can in here, and then we're gonna blend them up, probably about this much, and then we'll blend the rest. So let's get this, really crunch it in there. There we go, super tight. We're gonna come over to the Ninja, and let's blend it up. Always remember to plug it in, because if you don't, it will not work. Let's plug it up, perfect. Lama Bean, do you want to press it down to uh, chop up the Oreos? She said yes. Perfect, Lama. Let's do this thing. Fluff, come over here and watch the delicious Oreos crumble up, okay? Because I know you love food. So we're going to go with a crush. Mm, come on, Lama. Use the All right. Let's press maybe pulse. Pulse might be the right button. <laughs> Just gonna shake it up a little bit. Pulse it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, we're about getting it. So we're gonna crush up the rest of the Oreos and then we're gonna make the crust. Check it out guys, so we have successfully mixed in all of the Oreos. I don't know about you, but it's just like, it's just a big cup of Oreos and I just wanna like take a spoon and just But we can't do that. Fluff bean, now that we have all the Oreos mixed it together, how about you pour them into the bowl since you love the Oreos so much, okay? And then little mom will pour the butters. Here we go. Oh, Fluff. Good job, Fluff! Yay! Everybody give a huge round of applause for little Fluff bean. All right, little mom. What I need you to do is pour the butter in, all right? Here we go, the melted butters. Yay! Okay. Fluffy, can you let me know what does it say on the directions? All right, where did the directions go? Fluffy said that we have to mix the crushed cookies with the melted butter and press into the bottom and the upsides of the nine inch pan, which is right here. And we're gonna place it in the fridge while we make the filling. All right, so who wants to be in charge of mixing? Lama, oh my goodness, Lama Bean. I would think you would have been worn out from going to the gym so much today, like 
Are your little paws tired? I guess not. Little Lon keeps going. All right, Lama. How about you mix all of this together? Check it out. Look at that. It's just a huge thing of Oreos and butters. Health is wealth. I feel like on Thanksgiving, you can just eat whatever you want and feel no guilt. Because it's, it's food day. It's national food day, basically. All right, Lama. Get to mixing. Oh, Lama putting in that hard work. Look at that, guys. Look at this mixture right here. Look how hard little lamb beans working. If you guys were here right now, all you would smell is a bunch of deliciousness Oreos. This looks absolutely deliciousness and insane. Here, Lama, I'll take over. I know your paws are literally getting so tired. Like every time I eat an Oreo, I at least eat five and then somehow the family pack of Oreos is just all gone. And I'm like, how is this a family size and I just ate it myself? Like, Oh, it's just Floof's food. Oh my gosh, everybody say hi to little Floof. That's the little Floof over there. He's a new addition to the family. He loves food. Him and Fluff being get together pretty well because they both love food, and he's super fluffy, so we named him Floof Ben. Anyways, does that ever happen to you guys where you just eat so much Oreos, and you're just like, how did that happen? <laughs> All right, so here we have it. We have the crust now, and we're going to press it into the pan right now. Oh, it's not coming out of the mixer. Hmm, how are we gonna get this out? What's up, Fluff? You know way. How can we get it out? By you using your tongue and eating it? Oh, Fluff. Of course Fluff Bean would say that. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this until it comes out, and then we're gonna press it into the pie pan. All right, so it's now time to put the pie crust into the pie pan. As you guys can see, I'm wearing gloves right now, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I have really long acrylic nails, and the Oreos will literally get stuck up underneath my nails for the longest time, and I'm not trying to have that happen. I asked little Fluffy if she wanted to do it, but then Fluffy was like, if she touches the Oreo, she's got, number one, gonna eat all of it, and number two, it will literally stain her little paws for her little llama life forever. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I will do it, llamas. All right, so here we go. I have never made pie crust before, but this is actually pretty fun. Usually, if me and the llamas are baking, we're baking either cookies or cupcakes or a cake. Pretty simple when you do that, but like a pie? We never thought of a pie, but if this tastes really good, maybe that will be one of our recipes that we do often, because this seems not that bad so far. Fluff bean, let me, let me know again. So are we just pressing it into the pan like so? Okay, perfect, she said yes. All right, so we're just gonna press this in like this. Also guys, I really wanna know this, all right? What is your favorite kind of pie? My favorite is Oreo, but I've never had like a homemade pie, Oreo pie. Okay, I think it's really coming together. All right, after this pie crust is done, we're gonna put it in the fridge and then we're gonna start making the pie filling. Guys, the llamas are so excited right now, they can't even blink. So the pie crust is in the fridge and now we have to make the filling. The best part about the pie is the filling. So, Fluffy, will you tell us what is next on the instruction list? Oh, Fluff! Did you guys get that? Fluffy just said that we need to take eight ounces of cream cheese. I've never actually had cream cheese in my entire life, but I'm really excited to because it sounds very delicious. And we have to take three fourths cup of this powdered sugars and mix it together and beat it together. So we're gonna use this tool right here to mix it. So let's put this in. I'm going to cut it up like so, just like that. Oh wow, this stuff looks really soft. You know what guys, I, I've heard about cream cheese before because like that's what goes on bagels. When I eat a bagel, I always like eat it with peanut butter. I know that's like not like super popular. Like everybody like likes cream cheese. But every time I think of like a bagel, I think of peanut butter. But I know like when you go places, some people are like, I'll get cream cheese on my bagel. Anyways, we got the cream cheese in there. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I don't eat many foods. Like I love certain foods, but I maybe only eat like 20 foods when it comes down to it. Mostly like sweets, and you guys know I love Chick-fil-A. It's not that I'm a picky eater, I'm just very sensitive to some foods and textures and tastes, so I'm not very like, you know, like I would say a foodie, but I love food. Like I'm like fluffing, just an extremely toned down version where I just eat specific, specific foods. Like, can you guys relate? Like, can you let me know? Cause like, I don't know, like it's very rare for me to meet somebody that just like has these sensitive taste buds that only likes a few foods. Anyways, back to the baking. We need three fourths cup of this sugar. I love sugar, that's what I really like. When it comes to a dessert, sometimes I'll go to dinner and I'll just order a dessert. 
that's the fun thing. When you're an adult, you can you can order dessert for dinners. But as a kid, you gotta listen to your mom, guys. Mom will make you eat the food, and then you get the reward, which is a dessert. So, Lama Bean, will you let me know how much do we need? Three fourths cup, okay, okay. Lama, do you wanna help us pour? Now, little Lama Bean over here, Lama Bean, she doesn't have any sensitive taste buds. Lama Bean actually prefers lots of healthy foods and vegetables. And Lama Bean, that is so great because you always wanna eat your fruits and vegetables so you can grow super strong, Lama. All right, let's measure this. Ooh, let's turn to the side and get it up to three fourths. Let's watch until it goes to three fourths. Flapping, are you paying attention or are you just thinking about donuts? Okay, here we go. Let's shake it to see. We wanna even it out. Okay, almost there. I think we just need a couple more sugars. Wow, guys, I love the look of powdered sugar compared to like the regular sugars because it's just a bunch of fluffiness. Something, there's just something satisfactory about the powdered sugars. Oops, dang it! That's okay, we can clean that up because mama raised the cleaning. All right, Lama, does this look right? <laughs> she said yes. What's that, Fluff? Oh, oh, guys, Fluffing just told me that the instructions said that if we want, want to make the pie just a little bit sweeter, if we prefer sweetness, we add a little bit more powdered sugar. Fluffing, that's a great idea. Let's do that. So just a slight amount more. All right, that will be super sweet, and that will be on my level of tastiness, because I love sweets. Okay. Now let's pour this into the cream cheese and let's beat it up. Here we go, we're gonna mix it together. Hmm. I don't know if this is going as expected. We know what we're doing. Uh, maybe we'll use the hand mixer. As you can see, all the sugars and the cream cheeses are mixed together. Flopping, what do we do now? Oh, we add the two cups of the whipped topping. Oh my gosh, look, it's already added in the bowl. Who did this? Llama! Wow, llama bean moves really quick today. All right, so now it says we need to add this. Perfect, and we just mix this together. But before we do that, before we mix it together, we have to take some Oreos and we have to chop them up manually because we want thicker pieces of Oreos than the blended version, okay? So just a little bit thicker so they're blended in to the filling and it tastes a little bit crunchier. So when you bite into that pie, it has that good old crunch of Oreo. Look how delicious this looks. So we just mixed the Cool Whip and the cream cheeses. Now we're gonna pour in these chunks of delicious Oreos that we just crunched up. Thank you Fluffy and Lama Bean for crunching these up. Ooh, these look so delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're just gonna mix these together. Llama, will you do the honors to mix since you're super strong? Name a stronger llama. I will wait. What's up, Fluff? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Llama Dean is extremely strong. Llama Dean loves to do things that makes him super strong. Oh wow, Llama, good job. This is looking so good. So after we mix this together, we're gonna take the pie crust and we're gonna put this on the pie crust and the pie will basically be done. So here we are, we're gonna put the filling into the pie crust. Fluff Bean, since you are the best at food, will you take a bite of this and let us know if this filling tastes delicious? Whoa, 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 slow down, Fluff. Don't eat the whole thing. She said it's a one million out of a 10. Wow, Fluff, I'm really excited for this pie. Okay, let's scoop it into here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is looking delicious. Wow, guys, I really wish you could try this pie with us. So we're just gonna put this filling in here and then we'll decorate the top and put it in the fridge and oh my gosh, guys, I forgot. We have to set up the whole table before the guests get here. How much longer? <gasps> we have 27 minutes till everybody arrives. Okay, that's okay guys, don't freak out. We just have to set the table and everybody's gonna be here and then it's gonna be Friendsgiving. Guys, check it out. The llamas just set up the Thanksgiving table. Check out how fancy it looks. So we set up all of the plates there's gonna be seven guests here, including me. I'm gonna be sitting at the end, and then everybody else can kinda of choose where they wanna sit, except, actually, Little Toast, if you see over here, we have a little backrest for Little Toast. We actually built these benches specifically just for this Friendsgiving. And Little Toast, he always has a hard time standing up. You know how he always just flops over? That crazy piece of bread. 
He's so crazy, it's hard for him to stand up on his feet. So we built this little backrest for him so he can rest right here and eat his foods. But anywhere else, once the guests arrive, they can just pick their seat and they can just sit wherever they want. So yeah. Actually guys, I think Friendsgiving should be starting pretty soon. Like, oh my gosh, like literally right, right now. Friendsgiving should be happening right now. I wonder when the guests will start arriving. This is so exciting, guys. Let's go greet the guests. <gasps> Look guys, everybody came <gasps> and they brought delicious foods. Llamas, let's come and say hi. <gasps> hey guys, thanks for arriving. Oh my gosh, and you guys look so good. Hi Lama Dean, hi Little Pen, hi Little Toast, hey Shy Bean. Let's all come inside. It's a little chilly right now. Let's all come inside, set the food on the table, and get this dinner going. Wow guys, thank you everybody for coming to this Friendsgiving. The llamas are so excited that you all came and showed up because like the little llamas, they were really excited all day. They couldn't even blink. Anyways guys, let's get to this Friendsgiving. I'm so excited to see everybody and this is gonna be so much fun. So as you can see, we have the turkey set right here in the middle of the table. We would have all the other food to set on the table too, but we don't have enough room on the table. So all the other foods over there, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I just wanna know this. Who brought the turkey? Cause this turkey looks absolutely delish. Wait a second guys, hold on. Oh my gosh guys, I think this is actually a rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh. Uh, who brought the turkey? Lil Pen? Lil Pen, thank you so much for bringing in the turkey. This looks absolutely delicious. It's a rotisserie chicken, but we're just gonna pretend it's a turkey. This turkey looks so good and it just smells amazing. I love turkey and I love chicken. Anyways guys, how about all of you start talking. The llama mama is gonna go over here by the food and I'll start dishing out the food, okay? Everybody just start talking about your little llama lives, your little bread lives, your little penguin lives. Just start talking and I'll go over here and start getting the food, okay? All right guys, so as you can see, we have all of the food right here. It's super delicious and I gotta say this guys, this is the most interesting Thanksgiving food I've ever seen in my whole life. Like, this is very dynamic here, okay? It looks like we have a huge, long piece of bread. We got this cookie cake that has a very nice turkey on it that looks very good and insane. Like, that is some great skills on that, whoever brought that. I don't know who brought what, but we'll talk about it later. Oh my gosh, look, we got a stick of butter. That is strange, but it's okay, it's food. We got a huge thing of lettuce. And that's our food selection, and we have a turkey, so there's lots of food here, just a lot to go around, so I'm gonna go around and ask everybody what they want, and it's gonna be great. But before I do that, you always wanna have a drink at Thanksgiving, that's the best thing. And guys, as if you come over here, we have the best selections, because the llamas, they insisted that we got the best drinks. We have Hawaiian Punch and Sunkist. So let's go ask all the guests what they want to drink, and I'm gonna get them in. Oh, llamas! The llama mama has some great selection of some drinks. Now, oh, everybody's having discussions over here. All right, so what we have for dinner tonight is we have Sunkiss Blue Lemonade and we have Hawaiian Punch. So, who wants what? Llama Dean, which one do you want? Oh, he said he really wants the blue one. Now that makes sense because this does match his bow. Like look, it's literally the exact color of his bow. So, Lamadine, I will get you some fresh blue lemonade. Oh my gosh, this smells so delicious. Oh, Lamadine, it looks like you have one of the biggest cups here at Thanksgiving. Tell me when to stop, Lamadine. Tell me when to stop. Oh wow, Lamadine must be very thirsty. All right, who else wants blue? Fluff? Fluff bean, you want some blue? Okay, let me get your cup. All right, Fluff bean wants some blue. I'm not even gonna ask Fluff bean how much she wants. You already know she wants it all the way up to the lid. Fluff bean loves food and drinks. Anybody else want blue? No? Lil Pen? Oh, Lil Pen wants blue. That makes sense too. He is blue. Tell me how much you want. Just a little bit? Just one drop? Oh, <laughs> wow, Lil Pen, like, Lil Pen, I have to ask you, how long did it take you to get here? Because I heard you were actually in Antarctica like last week. Oh, <gasps> wow. 
He said he flew in on an iceberg this morning. That is insane, like I've never heard of that. Something happened to the iceberg when you came here? It crashed, oh my gosh. Guys, Lil Penn said he was flying here on the iceberg and as he got into Florida, the whole iceberg melted because Florida is so hot and that he fell out of the sky. But it was a good thing that he had wings because penguins have wings and he flew all the way here. That is so awesome. I would suspect you want more drink, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just guessing everybody else wants this fruit juicy red drink. So I'm gonna give everybody else this red drink and then we'll start with the food. All right, I think I'm gonna have the red one too. So this one's for me, little llama bean. Oops, that's okay, that's why we have a table cover. Little llama bean. We got shy bean over here. Shy bean, how have you been? Super shy. Oh, shy bean, you gotta tell us all about it at dinner. Okay, and little toast. All right, toast. All right, let me go get the foods. All right, so the first thing we're starting off is some bread. Who brought the bread? Oh, Lama Dean, you, you made this yourself? That's crazy, this thing is huge. Thank you for bringing the bread, Lama Dean. All right, before I pass this around, is anybody allergic to bread? Oh my gosh, Toast, you're allergic? Oh, oh yeah, oh guys, guys, Toast gets very sensitive because this is part of his family. Oh, this is a little awkward. Um, does anybody want bread? Hurry up, guys. Fluff? Fluff says she wants a little piece. Okay, Fluff Bean. All right, I'll give you a little piece. There you go. Fluff, mmm. What's that, Lama Dean? You want the rest? Okay, let's make sure everybody else. Is everybody else good on bread? Okay, all right. Here you go, Lama Dean. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Lama Dean must be hungry for bread. All right, let me get the next food item. Oh, perfect, look. We have some butter. Who brought the butter? Toast? Toast, do you like butter? Oh my gosh, he said he loves butter. Guys, you know what's crazy? Butter goes on toast. Hmm, maybe that's why toast like butter. I don't know, but Lamadine, you want some? Okay, just he said just a little bit, okay. He said just a little bit on his breads, so I'll give you a little bit. There you go. Perfect, is that good? There you go. Anybody else want some butters? Shy Bean, you just want some butter on your plate, just a little bit? Okay, there you go. All right, moving right along. Oh, and guys, you can feel free to start taking some turkeys, okay? If anybody wants turkeys. I call a leg though, I love turkey leg. Guys, I wanna know this. What is your favorite part of the turkey? Leave a comment down below, because I know one of the fun things about the turkey is the wishbone. I don't know about you, but I love the wishbone to pull it apart, and then you see who wins and like who gets the wish, so that's really interesting. Or do you like the leg? Or do you just like the middle part? Or do you not like turkey at all? Let us know, because me and the llamas, we are super concerned. All right, next up we have this huge ball of lettuce. Now, guys, I think if I had to give a random guess, who brought this? Hmm, Fluff? I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> that was like a complete joke. Llama Bean, how in the world did you bring this lettuce? I know it was you, Llama. Llama, I know it was you. You ran to the store and got it like a few minutes ago. Llama Bean is so fast, like, I didn't even see her get it. Llama Bean, that's so crazy. Does anybody want lettuce here? Oh wow, everybody just said at once, they said, give it all the llama, give it all the llama. That is so nice, because you guys know, Llama Bean's gonna eat this whole thing. Here you go, Llama Bean, eat up. We don't actually eat yet, because we don't all have our food yet. All right, let's go check the next food item. Ooh, wow, look at these guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six donuts. Now, I know who exactly brought this one. Llama Bean! I'm just kidding. Flat Bean, how did you get these donuts? I know you're not running that fast. Oh, she door blasted it. Mm, that makes sense, that does make sense. Okay, who wants a donut? Shy Bean? Okay, okay, here you go, Shy Bean. Here's a donut. Lil Pen, would you like a donut? Oh, Lil Pen wants a donut. Okay, Lil Pen. These are really good, they look so good. And anybody else? No? Okay, Fluff Bean, I'm not even gonna ask you. I know you probably want the rest of these. Here you go, Fluff Bean. Okay, she said she wants them stacked up. Oh my gosh, crazy Fluff. Wow, Fluff Bean must be starving. <laughs> Look at Fluff Bean's plate right now. A huge stack of donuts and a piece of bread. That's a crazy Thanksgiving dinner. But it's not over yet because we actually have something else here. Hold on. And the last one, except for the surprise that the llamas made. We have this cookie cake. Who brought this one? 
Shy Bean, you brought this? Did you make this yourself? Like, was this, like, did you, like, put this, like, all together yourself? You did? That is so cool. Like, this is so festive. Who wants some cookie cake? Oh, my gosh. Toast said he'll take the whole thing. Okay, Toast. That is crazy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, Toast, here you go. You get the whole turkey. That is awesome. All right. So, I think everybody should start to dig in soon. All right, guys. I have now started carving the turkey. Everybody wants turkey because, like, what is Thanksgiving without a turkey? You always got to have a turkey, you know? So I love it. So I'm going to take a good piece. Look, I got my I got my leg right here. And llama bean, how much would you like? Just a little piece? Okay. A little piece with your lettuce. <laughs> okay. How about you, Fluff? Fluff, you just want the skin. Oh, my gosh. Apparently, Fluffy loves the skin. Like, me personally, I don't eat the skin. But, like, Fluffy, I guess she really likes the skin. Do you guys like the skin? Here you go, Fluff. How about you, Toast? You want a huge piece? Alrighty. Here's a huge piece of turkey. I'll set it right here next to your cookie. There you go. Little pen, which part do you want? Oh, a medium sized piece, okay, okay. Hold on. Is this good? There you go. And, oh, looks like everybody has a piece of turkey. All right. Whew. All right, now that everybody has their food, Let's just start eating because I know everybody's probably super hungry because you know this is food day, everybody's looking forward to it. Let's just all start eating and then we'll have a huge conversation about like what we're thankful for. So everybody dig in. Guys, this Thanksgiving is going really good. I'm getting really full. Now, let's just have a conversation. Let's go around and say and see who's thankful for what, okay? Yamadi, how about you? What are you most thankful for recently this year? Oh, he said the outdoors. He said he's been hiking the mountains his whole life these past few months. Yamadi, that's so cool. Like, oh my gosh, you can literally tell, like, look at his legs. They look so strong. Lamadine is like one of the strongest llamas ever. Like, he has some competition over here with little Lamadine because Lamadine's been moving a lot too lately. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. All right, Shy Bean, little Shy Bean, what are you thankful for? Guys, Shy Bean just said she's really thankful for DoorDash. Why are you thankful for DoorDash? Shy Bean, that's so random. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Shy Bean says she's thankful for it because like she can just order her food on the app because she's extremely shy and the food comes straight to her door and she doesn't have to worry about anything. That's so cool, Shy Bean. I do like that app too. Little Pen, what are you thankful for? Let us know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Little Pen said he's really thankful for all of his other little penguin friends. I didn't know you had little penguin friends and they all love ice cream. That's why he won't even let go of his ice cream. Look at his ice cream cone. I've never seen Lil' Pen without a, his ice cream cone. Wow, that's so crazy, Lil' Pen. Okay, coming over here to Little Llama Bean. Llama Bean, what are you thankful for? Oh, Llama. Oh, Llama Bean says she's extremely thankful for the rain. Oh, Llama, why is that? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. So let me say she's really thankful for the rain because she, without the rain, lettuce would never exist. Because, you know, the rain comes down and it makes the lettuces grow and makes everything green and fluffy. That's so nice, Lama Bean. How about you, Fluff Bean? Oh, sprinkles. I know. <gasps> Fluff Bean, why are you crying right now? No, Fluff, Fluff, do not cry on Thanksgiving. Everything's okay, be thankful. No, Fluff, don't cry, what is it? She said she really wishes she has sprinkles on her donuts. Fluff Bean, it's okay that you don't have sprinkles on your donuts, okay? It, you know, this is a good lesson. Be thankful for what you have, okay? Just because it doesn't have sprinkles, it, it still tastes good, Fluff. You have four donuts, okay? It's okay, Fluff. And finally, Little Toast, what are you thankful for? Oh, Toast, you're great. You're grateful for all your friends here? <gasps> yes, that is so nice. Yes, like that's honestly one of, one of the best things about Thanksgiving, guys. Like the food's great, but one of the best things is just everybody getting together and everybody seeing each other and catching up with everybody and everybody just seeing how other people's lives are going. And it's just a fun time just to get together and say hi to your family and friends. It's just so much fun. 
and the food's great too. But yeah, I just want to say I'm extremely thankful for my little llamas and their gratefulness. And the llamas want to say that they're extremely thankful for you guys. I am as well because without you guys, this channel wouldn't be the way it is. And you guys make us smile every single day. We read all of your comments and it just makes me and this llama smile so much. Look how happy they are. They can't even blink. Oh, I'm a bean. Oh, flat bean. Wow. Okay, but guys. Everybody here, I want to tell you something, okay? Because Little Lava Bean and Fluff Bean, they have a huge surprise for you, okay? All morning this morning, me and the llamas, we baked a huge... Actually, you know what? Let me go get it. Let me go get it. Everybody close your eyes, okay? Except Lama and Fluff because they know what it is. But everybody close your eyes, okay? I hope you have room in your stomach for more things. All right, everybody still have their eyes closed, okay? This is something that Lama Bean and Fluff Bean really want to share with you because they said they want to make this just for you and they wanted to try it really bad. Okay, all right, I'm going to set it in the middle of the table. Okay, everybody open their eyes. <gasps> Look, Lama Bean and Fluff Bean prepared a beautiful homemade Oreo scrumptious pie. Guys, just look at it. Look how crazy this looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. And even like, look how festive the center looks and like all the Oreos. Like this looks pretty fancy. Like I'm really proud of the llamas for doing this. Oh my gosh, look at Lamadine. Lamadine is getting so excited for it. It does, it does smell really good Lamadine. Oh my goodness. Okay, how about everybody go up and take a bite? Oh, Lamadine can't even wait. Oh, Lamadine's going in for it. How does it taste Lamadine? Did you guys get that? Lamadine says it tastes absolutely amazing. He's never tasted a better pie than that pie. Wow. Okay, Shybean, why don't you give it a go? Oh, it looks like Shybean's going for the Oreo. Shybean, how was it? She said it's better than the Oreo pie she has at Perkins. Wow, that's crazy. Perkins has really good pies. All right, how about everybody else just take a bite of the pie and let's see how it tastes. Oh, toast. Toast, how is it? Toast. Oh, Toast says he really likes the whipped cream. How about you, Lama? How did you like it? Better than your lettuce? No way. Lama bean, that's a first. <gasps> that must be a really good pie. Little Pen, how does it taste? Way better than the snow cones they have in Antarctica. Oh my goodness, I didn't know they had snow cones there. Oh wait, that makes sense because Antarctica is like full of ice. And like if you add flavor to the ice, it makes a snow cone. That's so cool. Fluff, you're like the last one to try it. Oh my goodness, Fluff. Fluff bean, try it. Oh my gosh, <gasps> Fluff, oh, oh my gosh, Fluff. Fluff ate the whole pie. Fluff bean, oh my gosh. Guys, I have a feeling little Fluff bean's gonna pass out. That's what she does after every Thanksgiving. She just passes. And she passed out. Okay, yeah, Fluff Bean fell asleep. That happens all the time and Fluff eats a lot of food. It's okay, Fluff, here. I will set Fluff right here. She's just gonna take a nap. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know what, that's, that's just great, that's so funny. Guys, do you ever just like have one of your family members like eat a bunch of food at Thanksgiving and then one of them just passes out on the couch and it's just like so funny because like everybody eats a lot of food and it's like, whew, you just need to take a nap on Thanksgiving. That's so cool, but thank you to everybody for coming. This has been so much fun, and thank you for everybody bringing their own dish. Like, everything's just been so creative and, like, so funny. My favorite thing here was definitely the pie because, like, it was just so fun making it, and I had a great time with the llamas, and it was so awesome. What was your guys' favorite thing about this whole Friendsgiving? Leave a comment down below because me and the llamas, we're super concerned. Even Fluffy is, even though she doesn't look like it right now, she's passed out. She's probably dreaming about it. What's that, Lama Bean? Oh, <gasps> Lama Bean says that she's extremely excited for the Christmas seasons. That's right, Lama. What's that, Lama? You even want to go get a Christmas tree? Oh, Lama, we got to think about that soon because you know, right after Thanksgiving, we gotta go get the Christmas tree. We gotta do that. So, guys, keep an eye out for that because in the next video, the llamas are gonna be getting their own Christmas tree. It's gonna be so much fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Me, little llama bean, little fluff bean, little toast, little pen, little shy bean, and little llama bean. We love you so much. Say bye, llama. Bye. Say bye, fluff. Bye. Say bye, toast. Bye. Say bye, little pen. Bye. Say bye, Shabby. Bye. Say bye.